Welcome back to another video. So as you can see from the title, today I'm gonna to be doing my two week review for the 310 Nutrition Shakes. I do have my shake right here that I will be drinking on along with some kiwi and strawberries. Also, I have my healthy living notebook. I wrote my meal plans down and I changed a lot about the way I eat. With the meal plan, I'm gonna keep that in a separate video. In today's video, we're just going to be talking about the two weeks that I've been using the shakes. I am gonna crack open this fruit because I like to have some fresh fruit while I'm enjoying my shake. Ooh, it's sour. I have what I call shake facts. I got 10 facts for you guys, well, Pretty much my opinion of what I think about the shakes. I don't know any other way to describe it, but the shakes to me taste like earth. You can just taste that it is, it doesn't taste like dirt, but it does have that, you can tell it's like a different vibe. It's not your normal shakes because they're not sweet. They're not like milky, creamy, none of that. It has like a chalky type of texture. And that's pretty much more of an aftertaste. So yeah, that's what I think of it. That's just my opinion. You have to try it for yourself to see. Bebe, them strawberries is slamming. So the second thing that I noticed with the shakes is that I was really hungry the first time I tried them. I'm not sure if that's just something that you're supposed to feel with the shakes or not, but I was super hungry. Once I drank the shake, it felt like all the food or whatever I had was sucked completely out of me. But um, I found a way to work around that, so we got that all figured out. We good there. So the next thing on the list is that I didn't have any cravings for snacks by the third day. And I was pleasantly surprised that I didn't have any cravings at all. I have tried plenty of things to help me not crave snacks. Nothing has worked for me. I was super happy to not have any cravings, especially when you're trying to diet and you get those urges to eat sweets. You don't want to, but you do. And then even when you're trying to eat a small portion, you end up eating way more than you want to eat. By day number three, it was no snacks for me. <laughs> so the fourth thing on the list is that I do not recommend using water to mix the shakes up whatsoever. Just because it brings us back to number one, you can taste more of the protein, earthly shake flavor. And I don't like that. Water doesn't have anything in it. It doesn't have flavor. So that means you're tasting more of the shake. And I do not want to taste the shake itself. I do not know who said this shake tastes amazing. I'm not going to lie. Me, personally, I don't recommend using water because you can taste very natural, very earthly. Number five, I also realize upon mixing the shakes is to never 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 use a spoon the shake was stuck to the cup it's chunks of the powder not mixing well i'm not even sure if it said it on the package to have a blender or a shaker cup of some sort when it comes to mixing the shake because if not you're just gonna get a disaster i tried to smash it up on the side of the cup that wasn't working you definitely better have a blender at hand well, for number six I found that using almond milk was a lot better than any other milk that I have tried so far. The first one I was using was the almond milk that is 60 calories. That was perfectly fine, but I end up switching to skim milk. That had more calories. I don't know why I thought that that was less calories, but it actually had more calories than almond milk. Um, so I got off of the skim milk and I switched to the almond milk that is unsweetened and it is only 30 calories. I don't drink the coconut milk or soy milk and I no longer drink whole milk or 2% milk. Almond milk is pretty much my go-to at this point. but does add a little bit more flavor and I love it. 
Number seven kind of goes back into number six. I don't really know why I have these as separate things about the shake that I noticed. Using skim milk was worse than using water. I would rather use water versus using skim milk because the skim milk, uh, it just, it gave it a, a whole nother flavor that I was not expecting and I can't explain it. Um, again, this is just one of those things you would have to try it out and see for yourself. Okay, number eight on the list. I noticed that when I was blending the shakes using ice, it seemed like it made it more powdery. I don't know why that is. I could just taste way more powder. Um, it was more stronger than usual. And I almost was unable to drink it down because of that. Maybe some of the powder stuck to the ice cubes. I'm not sure. <laughs> it was better because it tasted more colder but it was worse because it was more chalky if that makes sense number nine kind of goes with number two which was it made me instantly hungry number nine is i'm not sure if i got full when i noticed that i was not full drinking the shakes i just went ahead and start pairing up fruit or something small like a little small meal or snack on the side When I say snack, I do mean vegetables. I think I've had a salad or something with it before, but like nothing too huge, nothing heavy. You just need to munch on a few pieces of fruit or vegetables, drink the shake down and you'll be good to go. That brings us to number 10 on the list, which is the last thing. The only thing I have to say for it is that it works. I'm going to go ahead and say it works regardless. Even if it just stopped cravings, that's good enough for me because that's the biggest thing that would have caused me to gain weight. Since these two weeks, I have been losing weight and I applaud myself. I'm going to give myself the credit as far as me losing weight because I'm not eating past... 6 p.m. I'm eating healthy. I'm counting calories and I'm eating smaller portions. And if you guys want to find out about what I'm eating, I will save that for another video. But I did lose weight. I started off as 193.3. That was my first weight, I think, June 9th. Um, and today I weigh 187.4. So I lost a total of six pounds. I'm finally out of 190s. I'm in the 180s and soon I can't wait to be in the 170s, 160s, 150s, 140s. That's where I used to be back when I was a teenager. So I'm trying to head back in that direction, at least 145 or something like that. I haven't even worked out yet. So that's amazing for me to stop my cravings upon using these shakes and I lost six pounds and I haven't even worked out. You can do either one or two shakes to replace meals in a day. I only use it once a day and I actually missed three days so far I didn't do it yesterday cuz I ate a whole lot a whole lot of I was just testing other foods and new sushi and stuff like that so <laughs> I have not been starving myself I thought I was gonna have to but I still been eating pretty good I'm gonna continue to drink my shakes for the next two weeks so anyways guys that is that that is the end of this video like comment and subscribe make sure your bell notifications are turned on so you guys don't miss a thing and I will see you in my next video peace